What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care as we are now doing a new let's play on another new game. It's one of a game we've already done in the past, or at least the franchise we've already done in the past, but it's the sequel to the original Chibi Robo for the GameCube. It is Chibi Robo Park Patrol. You may have heard about it, you may have not. It's kind of a game that kind of went under the radar and to be honest it kind of makes sense why. It's very different from the original Chibi Robo formula, I guess, that was created by the first game. I mean, for a start, there's a whole lot of touch mechanics, and it's on the DS. So, anyway, let's go and jump on in and see what this game has for us. Teachers are for buttocks because committed to making a difference in people's lives. As the premier name in home robotics, we're proud to unveil our latest innovation. Please give a warm welcome to the newest member of the Citrusoft Robotics family. Blooming Chibi Robo. This tiny robot is just four inches tall, but it's even more powerful than before. Let's take a look at some of its improvements as it rolls off the line. Come along! Oh, um, I'm just putting the finishing touches on my blooming Chibi Robo prototype. As you can imagine, I'm very excited. Hello there, little one. I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Duke Harold of Citrusoft Robotics. And guess what? You, my little metal friend, are a flower blooming model. You should be very proud because you are tasked with an important mission. You see, pollution is a major problem worldwide. Green places are going grey and flowers are vanishing. It's a terrible shame. And that's why I invented you. Well then. It's time for your first test. Listen carefully, because I won't repeat myself. You'll be using your boombox and squirter. Use the boombox right over there to make flowers produce seeds. Then spray the buds with the squirter to make them grow into flowers. Let's get started! See that flower over there? Can you get it to produce even more flowers? Ooh, that was suddenly a bulk of music. So light! Let's do this! I don't know why I said light instead of right. Here's the boombox! Now unlike pressing A, I actually have to tap on the bottom screen. As you can see here, there's a whole lot of different buttons. I can get out the thing using the left button to get out that boombox. I can turn the camera with control buttons for some reason. And I can pick up my plug with the touch of a button. It's all button mechanics. Which is kind of nice because it means I can actually use the A, B, X, Y buttons to actually control Chibi Robo if I'm left handed, which I am. So that's very helpful. Anyway, now that we have the boombox and squirter, let's put this thing to use. Now because it's white and... Standing up, we need the boombox. A white flower indicates that it can create some flowers. Play a catchy tune by spinning the tape spool with good timing. Let's try this. Well, that wasn't perfect. You can hear the tune went a little bit off, but I got 70. You usually get 100 if you do things perfectly. Right, so that's created three flowers, which gives us three happy points, which is very lovely. And that gives us a purpose for the squirter. Which, as you can imagine, now use your squirter to give the flower buds a drink of water. Alright then. There we go. Good job, little one. You just earned some happy points. And you just do that for as long as you wish to. Now, white flowers mean that you can dance with it and can make more flowers, whereas coloured ones like these ones will not produce more flowers, but they will give you happy points if you sprout them. This new model is amazing. 
You're a smart little robot, so you probably already know this, but here's a tip. White flowers produce seeds when you play music. However, colored flowers won't produce seeds no matter what you do. You got all that? Choose your answer. Okay, so this one at this point you have to actually manually do yes and no. It's just the same as the original game, so it's kind of nice. Yes, I understand. I knew you were smart. I'm sure you'll be just fine once you leave here. I have to say though, I will miss you. But the world needs you, Chibi Robo. Just do your best. Good luck. Chibi Robo's garden and capabilities is a green answer to the pollution epidemic. It can turn barren, polluted areas into a lush fields of flowers, and like all models. This Chibi Robo is equipped with our patented happiness generating technology. And that's not all. To commemorate the blockbuster sales of the original Chibi Robo model, we have a very exciting offer. As part of our strong commitment to a cleaner, greener environment, we will be providing Chibi Robos to parks all over the world. For free! And naturally, Citrusoft will cover the shipping as well. Yes, we're serious! Our fleet of trucks is leaving the campus now. Then they're heading to your town today. Citrusoft, we're ripe with innovation. Well, you certainly are. We could use that in our world, huh? What's this weird box doing here? Now people are just leaving trash here. Well, who can blame them? Just look at this gross park. There's no way I'm hanging out here. What a dump. Chibi Robo! Alrighty then! Let's turn those happy points into wads! I have no idea what's going on. Let's recharge next! You're fully charged now! You have 20 wads left in your reserves! Your new life starts today, Chibi Robo! Aren't you just bursting with excitement? Oh! Oh! I totally forgot to introduce myself! How embarrassing! Please excuse me! My name is Chet! It's very nice to meet you! I'm looking forward to working with you! The park isn't much to look at today, it's true. But from what I hear... It used to be the most beautiful place! There was a lush carpet of green grass! And of course, there were lovely flowers covering every square inch of it! But nowadays, things are pretty different! Not even the townsfolk make their way here anymore! It's just not right! We've gotta fix this park up like it used to be! So, step one! 
Let's get some flowers blooming out there. Let's see, there are three flowers in the park now. Why don't you try for 20 flowers? I know you can do it, Chibi Robo. But first, let's get the Chibi Gear section of the Chibi PC open for business, okay? Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Since you run on electricity, be sure to keep your battery full. If you let your battery drop below zero watts, well then you've got some problems. So come back to the Chibi house often to recharge and to say hi to me too. By the way, Chibi Robo, do you want to save now? No, I don't. We barely started. Alrighty then. Time to blanket the... What? So let's go. Well, that was quite a few things going on. Let's go into the Chibi PC, shall we? Welcome to the Chibi PC. Okay, is there anything going on here? Actually, no. So, he, she just mentioned it for no real reason, huh? O okay then. Well, let's go outside and let's finally p play. I almost forgot! What did you forget, Chet? I'm so sorry, but I can't join you! Not to be mysterious, but I have my reasons! There are graphic in limitations on the DS. I, I mean, but there's some good news too! Our visual and auditory capabilities are connected! This means that I can see and hear what you see and hear! We're always together! Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm lying? Go out there and see for yourself then! Hello? Do you copy Chibi Robo? No. No, I don't. It's me, Chet! Over! Oh, don't scare me like that ever again! I'm so glad we can keep in touch this way! Alrighty then! So, let's go! Alright, finally, let's go into gameplay. What is the gameplay? You make flowers. That's pretty much the bulk of it. It might sound boring, but really, this is quite a casual game, clearly designed to be played in small bursts in order to just sort of grow up a park. It's like your own customizable area. What I'm going to do, actually, is I think I'm going to go to each flower once. Where are they? There they are. To make sure we get a nice even spread of flowers. So what we're aiming for today is we're trying to get 20 flowers blooming. Also, I'm doing really lucky with the timings here. Huh, I always seem to be kind of hit and miss with that. Um, so every time you bloom flowers, they will of course give you tons of happy points. We're going to see them there. They are chasing, up, uh, chasing after us. Da, 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 da. There we go. These happy points then get converted into watts when we go into the chibi house, which are then used to either charge our battery that we can see in the top right hand corner, if you want to see that, or it will be used to buy some upgrades and equipment later on in the series. Watts are very important and there is plenty of them. In the original game, watts were a little bit more rare, at least <laughs> a lot more rare than they are in this game. In this game, you can have literally thousands of watts in reserve, whereas before you just sort of Actually, I think you could get to 999 in the original game with your battery capacity, but still. There is a lot of stuff and a lot of changes going on to this game, and it's quite a learning curve to understand. But once you do, everything becomes quite repetitive. So I'm going back to the GB house to recharge, because we are now low once again on 22. You'll also notice I'm going to start skipping over Chet's dialogue. Oh no, we have to stop recharging right now! Oh shoot, I, I didn't think about that. By the way, do you really want to save now? No, I don't. I need to convert my happy points to what so then I can recharge. I forgot that we don't have tons and tons, because usually you'll have so many you never need to worry about this again. This will probably be the only time we'll be worried about charging up properly. Chet very much says routinely same things when you're in the chibi house, probably so that you can very easily go through it. Also though, That can get a little lengthy. That was just 22 happy points. Imagine if you have 300. You might have 300 at a time. It takes a while. Thankfully, there is a skipping section, but still, oh boy. Let's see how many flowers you planted. Every time you convert happy point to watts, you will get a t tally on how many flowers you've grown. Wow, we've done seven. That's amazing. Your flowers has gone from three to seven. 
Let me check when the chibi may see. Chibi gear section of the is scheduled to open up. Oh, I see. Looks like the next chibi will arrive when you, um, yeah. Okay. So only when we have 20 flowers will the chibi PC open. Okay. I got you now. I understand. Right. Let's make the park explode with flowers, she says. Alrighty. As you can probably tell, if you have any familiarity with the first game, you'll know that Chet is basically the replacement for Telly from the first game. Chelly was... Uh, Chelly? Telly was a flying little TV. A very scared little thing that would follow you... Actually, he wouldn't follow you around. He would just follow... Stand in certain rooms and do his own thing. Chet, I'm assuming because of the limitations of the DS, isn't allowed outside the Chibi house and allows you to just run around as your own little thing. Or it's just a new character they decided to add. Interestingly, Chet does have a different voice to Telly, even though I'm actually giving her the same voice without the that Telly had and more of a robotic tone to it. But also, it's interesting how later in the series, we'll actually find that the uh, later, what do I call them, replacements of Telly, are also called Telly and have the same voice, but not the same design. It's interesting how they just sort of went back on themselves with Chibi Robo's partner. Anyway, I'm just going to flower these last few, few flowers. I really should have been keeping count to know how close I am to the 20. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll raise all the ones that are available here and then we'll go check ourselves out to see how we're doing. But for the most part, the way this game works is you want to be growing flowers. It will give you more uh, happy points, which will turn into watts, which will turn into upgrades. And then you can use those upgrades to eventually upgrade the park. Right now, everything's very... Oh, we're kind of low. Oh, well. Everything's very dirt ridden and not green like that patch of grass over there as we obviously grow more flowers things are going to get better we'll have more abilities to us beyond just the equipment we can buy and just everything's slowly going to be improving this is like your own make your own park you even get to customize exactly how it looks right let's go recharge and convert happy points again even though there's only seven but i want to know my flower count and then we'll keep going Plus, there's plenty to say about this game because things have changed. There's a lot of franchise changes. There's things I'd like to say about the future of this franchise and just how the game works. Any complaints, which there are a couple. We'll find out soon enough. How many flowers have I planted yet? Let me know. 21. Lovely. Ta-da! Your flower count has gone from 7 to 21. Wowie zowie! Keep it running now that you have over 20 flowers. Get a load of this! The Chibi Gear section of the Chibi PC is now open. You can spend your watts on all sorts of nifty stuff there. Take a look at the Chibi Gear section of the Chibi PC. The 150 watt battery came into the store. If you purchase the 150 watt battery, you won't have to recharge as often. Yippee! I'm so excited I might short circuit. Let me check when the next item is scheduled to arrive. Looks like the next shipment will arrive when you up your flower count by 19. So, 40. By the way, do you want to upgrade? Do no, I do not quite yet. Alrighty then. It's out of you to make the park explode with flowers, so let's go. Alright, let's go check this GB PC. I'm obviously going to get this upgrade. So looking at the bottom screen, you can see there are four different sections. There are park projects that we haven't unlocked yet. We've got stickers, which are the end game achievements. As you can see, there's a whole bunch. We'll get to those eventually one day. We've got the forecast, which allows us to see certain weathers. Okay, apparently morning tonight, it's going to be sunny. Lovely. And then we've got the chibi gear. Your upgrades, basically. And what do you know? 150 watt battery. I don't have enough watts. Well, we'll get that soon enough then. Right, now at this point, what I want to do is I want to spend the rest of the day just growing flowers. This is very much the tutorial level, you've just got to do your own thing. So at this point, I'm actually going to go cut away for a little montage since the video is already at 20 minutes. So you don't need to see the rest of this flower growing part. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, uh, okay, Whew. did a whole bunch of flower blooming, and we're very low on watts. 
Always is the case this early on because we've got so little battery. Let's convert. So I think at this point it will give us the ability to skip. Maybe it's when you've only- yeah, there we go. We can skip, and even when you do that, you still have to hear the last five happy points. It's quick, but still it's that same bling sound effect, but oh well. And look at that. We've already got a full, like, pillar of energy. One, three, three, seven, huh? Hmm. We have tons of watts, and now we need to buy that upgrade. Next item is scheduled, and you have your flower count by 19. Because I didn't make any more flowers, I just bloomed them. Blooming for uh, happy points and growing for the flower count. Makes sense. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Not nice and easy. Nice and easy. Right, let's go get that upgrade. Do I have to purchase that now? Yes, I would. Thank you. And let's get out of here. 150 watt battery. Best battery capacity at the moment, but the watts. Don't know why she feels the need to say the description, but oh well. Alright. So let's hop up our plug. Get on out of here. And at this point, I want to actually just do whatever I can flower blooming wise before ending it off. At this point, the day is ending over. As you can tell, there is a day and night cycle. Chibi Robo could not be out at night time in this game. Unlike the previous game, which was all about having a day and nighttime sequence, I guess the DS wasn't powerful enough to handle nighttime as well, so we're only out during the day. It's kind of Pikmin esque, really. Whew. So, what I'm going to do for the rest of this day is I'm just going to do all the flower growing I can. Let's start actually getting out the squirter and, you know, raising some flowers actually up. And then I'm going to end it off there. I don't think you need to see this final little bit of flower blooming, so maybe we'll chuck in another little montage. Maybe I'll just cut into the end. We'll see how it goes. Oh! So because I bloomed 30 flowers in a region, it now goes green. I didn't actually expect to do that so early. But okay, episode one. Sounds good. Chibi, but look at the time! Come on back! You've worked enough for today, why don't you head back to the Chibi house now? Alrighty, so now we get to see our park stats. We grew 53 flowers? Or 53 buds, that's it. Two people arrived. So we got two visitors and then we get to see the different colours that bloomed. Anyway, for now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care and I'll see you in a bit. Hmm. Do my eyes deceive me, or are the ghastly little faces of flowers smiling up at me? And what is this? That foul metal contraption there looks suspiciously helpful. Yeah. I see. It's just a pile of garbage. Sweet, sweet, life-choking garbage. Yeah.